If you if you think about what an alien is in terms of our our the sort of iconic image of an alien, like the Steven Spielberg Close Encounters of the Third Time, uh, Third uh, Kind Alien, they seem like what we'd assume a human being would eventually become. And if these things are tiny, human beings are smaller than they've ever been before. They're weaker than they've ever been mm -hmm. before. And there seems to be a trend in that direction. And this trend seems to be amplified by our technological progression. There are a lack of need for muscle strength and our lack of need for violence. And we're moving in a society to try to get away from all the things that we think are abhorrent about human beings and the terrible behaviors that we have. If we one day do give birth to some sort of an artificial being, like Marshall McLuhan's uh, quote, we are the sex organs of the machine world. You know, that one day, what are we doing when we're constantly technologically innovating? We're constantly looking for faster cars, better computers, bigger screens, faster, more resolution, more pixels, more this, more that, higher bandwidth, 5G, 10G. Right. What are we doing? We're moving into this, in this, if you just follow it, objectively stay, stand back, don't attach yourself or your civilization, your culture to it, and look at what it is. We're moving 100% towards technological innovation. If you looked at this species from afar, and if you weren't a part of it, you would say, well, what does this species do? Oh, they make things. They make things better every year. Beehives are the same fucking thing that you see 10 years ago. You go by, you see a beehive, it's amazing, it's cool, but they're the same right. fucking thing. They figured out how to do it, they make a beehive. Right. We don't do that. We make better things What would you constantly. Do and at some point, I think that technology is going to fuse with us. Yes. And we're going to become... It's already happening. Yeah. And Elon Musk talked about it on my podcast, that we are cyborgs. You just carry it in your pocket. It's a phone. It answers any question you want. You can talk to it. It'll give you the answers, in the answers instantaneously. It navigates you. It has all your phone numbers in it. It has all your contacts. You can get a hold of people. People are listening to you through it. It's connecting us in ways even involuntarily. Haptics, that kind of thing. Yeah. It's also getting on your wrist. How many people have iWatches, uh, Apple Watches? They're well, putting right. on their wrist. Right, and that's only because we can't integrate them yet. But yeah. you know that point is coming. 100%.